My name is Steve Johnston. I'm the quality director for the Rock 10 uh, Coded Mills team. You have to keep your mind open to how you can configure Compliant Pro. It can do many different things. It's very flexible. Its greatest power is also its greatest bane at startup, for those of you who are just trying to switch to Compliant Pro. Its greatest power is it's highly configurable, and it can mirror any pro anything you want it to do. The problem is you got to set it up to do it. It doesn't just know it. Uh, I had a slide that uh, Legal Chit took, a, took out from me that was basically a picture of a box of Legos. When you buy Compliant Pro, you just bought a box of Legos. And you can make that pretty Star Destroyer on the front, but you got to make it. But then you don't have to just have that Star Destroyer. You could make three other ships out of it. You can make it whatever you want it. Um, and I think that's the, the greatest strategy to keep in mind when you're thinking about Compliant Pro, is this high configurability is ultimately your friend. The system is highly configurable. You don't have to have every definition answered and every DEG identified. Go ahead and launch your system and, and work out. See what, see what falls out after a month or two. Set it up so that you give yourself a flexibility time. And so that, that's what I've done with complaints. That's what I did with trials. My raw material trial uh, process went extremely well, partly because we got to a certain point, and instead of just arguing in circles, we said, all right, guys, we're just going to turn this thing on everybody go take your next raw material trial, put it in there and see what we get. And then we got back together and we hammered out where it was short and we closed those gaps. And I'm using Compliant Pro's high flexibility there to uh, the, the trial uh, workflow is actually pretty cool. You know, you've got your request, your request goes up, we have to route it through an approval phrase because the trial is pretty important for us. But I actually built a small action that you pull it, uh, that you pull in as a reference document if you have to have a regulatory review that sits on the front of it. So I gave the, I, I automated a regulatory review process that usually had happened completely separately that now gets attached to the trial and files along with it. And then I'm using, inside of it, I've given them the ability to create multiple actions. So as they go through their trial phase, in our world, you run a tote, and then you run a rail car, then you run a couple rail cars, uh, and you'll go through four or five iterations. So I've given them a trial, uh, a trial results phase that they can execute for each stage of the trial. So once the trial's open, they're able to execute as many as they want or as few as they want, and it all ties together. And then there's a final trial conclusion that ties all together that routes for final approval and says, yes, approve this material, go ahead and buy it or don't. And the last thing I gave them is I gave them the ability to create an action item if there's something missing in that process where they can generate a quick little almost pseudo workflow, if you will. And I'm pretty excited about 8.5 because it sounds like I'll have a lot more uh, functionality and ability to do that. So I guess where I was going with that is there is a lot of configurability in the system. And I didn't start with that model in my mind, but by turning it on, tasking my other site administrators who had a decent idea of what the system was, and then the actual subject matter experts, we get back together and we talk about what worked and what didn't work, and where hey, that's where I got the feedback of, hey, I might need to be able to create 17 trial results before I ever have to route to trial conclusion, or, or I, hey, I need to do this regulatory review on the front, it needs to be associated when I do it. All that came from that good work. So don't be afraid to turn it on before it's perfect. <laughs>